So quite a contest we have in store. Just listen to the noise level from the stands. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. We're underway. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? It has to be the brains of the operation, Tony Kroos. He's another one of the elite passers of world football, and his consistency remains high at, at both club and international level, and one of the first picks in the team. And he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Wasn't easy. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence on settled, and now they've got to back it up. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. That's clear-cut, it's a free kick. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. It's a long forward pass. Out to the left it goes. Where to from here? Tries a through ball. Ball swung in really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Towering header! Just off target. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Well, to have had a few attempts already in this game augurs well for what's to come. It's been a very bright start from them. Aimed long and direct. Germany have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. And it's Mario Gomez. Mario Gomez plays a clever pass. Goal! Germany! The breakthrough strike! What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Germany give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Jerome Boateng does well to read it and intercepts. Jerome Boateng. Mario Gomez passes it through. Chance to shoot! Wonderful quick feet! Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Away from immediate danger. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Hervides. Draxler. Tony Kroos, Draxler, Hervides. And it's Ozil, Tony Kroos, great challenge. Plays it out to the wing. Goes for goal! He's missed, but by that far... Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Jerome Boateng. Mesut Ozil, Mario Gomez, pumps it upfield. Who's going to make this theirs? Belts one! That's going to be a goal kick. Spoon forward. Tony Kroos. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Mats Hummels. Tony Kroos. Mats Hummels. Tony Kroos. And he's on his way! Looks to slip it through. Hit into the middle. They've managed to get it away. Nicely controlled. Great leap! Dispatched clinically. Oh, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, they're back on level terms, so the guessing game goes on. As to what will happen from here, I've no idea. Ozil. Good challenge, he just stood firm. 
that's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Jerome Boateng. Gets his foot in there. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Now the pass. Looks like a good ball through. Hervides gets it away. Whipped in. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Half time in the semi-final. Reflections on the first half? Well, we thought this would be close, Peter, and it's, it's proving us right so far. They're well matched and it, it presents a, a fascinating battle of wits to see who will emerge on top or, or otherwise. That's a really interesting game and they head in at half-time at 1-1. Second period then underway. Russia can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Battles to win it back. Mesut Ozil cuts a frustrated figure right now. He just cannot get away. Well, it looks like he's been the one who's targeted as the danger man here, and as a consequence, he's getting the special attention. They're getting players around him quickly, they're giving him nowhere to go, and uh, I think pretty soon he could be getting frustrated with this. Now the pass. Now here's the through ball. And out to safety. Pings it out wide. It'll be a throw-in. It's going to be another throw. Tony Kroos. Draxler. Has gone out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Decent ball. That's a case of crossing in hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Spoon forward. Mesut Ozil. Tony Kroos. Totolski. Gets it back. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. It's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. Drilled in low. Big relief, it just needed better contact. I think when you're in front of the goal like that, you really should do better. That's a poor finish in the end. Who's going to make this theirs? Draxler. Russia haven't made a substitution yet. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Mats Hummels. Sade. Thrust towards the front line. Is it out of harm's way? 
the route one option. Draxler. Match Hummels. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Tony Kroos. And it's Ozil. Played out to the wing. Drexler looking to get on the end of this. Lovely feet. That'll be a throw. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Chan. Some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. Hervides battles to win it back. Chan. That's a throw. Hervides. Aimed long and direct. Good interception. Pumps it upfield. One shell pass, that's the message there. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tries a through ball. Now here's the through ball. Up he goes! Well, with the team's level now, possession is everything for him. He can't keep giving it away. Russia look as though they're about to make a change. That's Hummels. Who's going to make this theirs? Looks to slip it through. The ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Well, they can break here. Chance! He slid it through. Goal! Russia! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Russia go into the lead. Oh, that's tremendous. They've shown it again and again in this competition. They'll fight to the very end. You have to admire them for their spirit. And the cutback. Can he finish? There's a goal! They have hauled themselves right back into it. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier.
This is quite a battle. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Tries a long pass towards the front. Cuts it back. Defence has got rid of that. Just five minutes left. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Sane. Chan tries to get it forward quickly. And he's made certain that won't get through. Sane goes long and forward. And that has put a stop to that. Spoon forward. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. The move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Aimed long and direct. Mario Goetze gets it back, pumps it upfield. Tony Kroos. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. In for a header! So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say, neither side really did enough to find a winner. It just cancelled each other out. So to clarify, extra time will follow. Russia conceded an equaliser late on. Now they have to do it all again. Do they have what it takes? He's dealt with that well. Passes it through. It's not going to find its target. Who's going to make this theirs? Podolski. Oh, let down by a lack of accuracy. Goes wide. Sane looking to get on the end of this. Oh, the whistle's gone. What's he given? Oh, the referee's decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. He has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Up for the header! Oh, should have put that away. Well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. it upfield, cuts it out. Swung in towards the middle. Too long, and over the line. Russia, their final change. Spoon forward. Now that was just asking too much of his teammates by playing it in so early. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. to get it forward quickly. Looks like a good ball through. Neuer comes out and deals with it. Out of play for a throw. And back to base. Mats Hummels pumps it upfield. Jerome Boateng gets into a dangerous position. And it's Chan. Good challenge, he just stood firm. That's it for the first period of extra time. 
Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? It has been a slugfest. Significant blows landed, but still no knockout. Just ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Done very well to intervene. Chan. Hervides. Who's going to make this theirs? And now they can launch a counter. He's in, surely! Shakes the shoots! And no, he couldn't find the finish. Mats Hummels hoofs it forward. Spoon forward. Looks to slip it through. Now here's the through ball. It's a loose ball. Keeper's not concerned by that. That's a pretty powerful effort because he really got hold of that one, but he's not going to trouble the keeper from there. The referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. Mats Hummels knocks it towards the front. Pumps it forwards. Oh, that's a waste. Tries a through ball, and the defence can get it clear. Aimed long and direct. Now the pass. Big chance! One on one! Still inseparable. We have penalties. What a fantastic tussle, Peter. I thought we'd get a mistake or two as players began to tire towards the end. But fear of defeat seems to just keep them going, and it's a case of uh, who wants to step up now. Pressure and nerve. After two inconclusive hours, it is penalties. Boy, you can feel the tension. So, the first penalty. Great stop, keepers denied him. Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. Podolski with eyes on the prize. That's how it's done, he made the keeper commit. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. Russia in search of parity. No, he's fluffed it. Big save. From one behind. It's in, too smart for the keeper. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed the keeper. The third man in the queue. 
Keeper's gone the wrong way. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. Russia looking to draw level. Terrific penalty, unsavable. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Oh, he's hit the upright! Oh, that's so unlucky to hit the goal frame. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed the keeper. So it's down to him to keep it alive. And there it is, the decisive kick. Russia have sealed their place in the final and their loyal support is in ecstasy. They head to the big day, genuinely expecting to win it. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Look, you often need a, a little slice of luck to get through a, a hard-fought semi-final, and they took advantage of whatever came their way. But what really impresses me now is that they're really growing as a team. As a unit, they're looking very strong.